These are the page numbers and lessons for unit three. So this is on the standard normal curve. Lesson 31 is transforming data. That's page 301. 302 is an investigation. 303 is multiplying and dividing. 304 is a check for understanding. 305 are some notes that I, sorry, that's not 305, I apologize. This is just some notes that I wrote for the quiz, the quiz corrections, because lots of people struggled on this quiz. You do not have to include this. 305 is lesson 32. It's the standard normal curve. 306 is six problems on the standard normal curve. 307 is a check for understanding. <clears throat> 308 is lesson 33. And it is using area to find z-score. 309 is standardizing. 310 is a couple of problems. 311 is two more problems. 312 is a check for understanding. 313 is lesson 34. It's assessing norm normality. I think I said 313 there. Let me, yeah, so 313. And then my next page, oh, 314, then the back side is blank. I think I said that wrong. I'm sorry. 313 is lesson 34, then the back side is blank. That's 314. Then 315 says normal probability plot. And that's all of unit three. So because this video is so short, I will briefly go through the rest of the units because they're numbered and labeled. So um, for unit three, just to make sure that we're all on the same page, it had 30, the lesson number went to 34 and the page numbers went to 315. The next unit was scatter plots. It's unit four, and this is where I started numbering for you. So it starts on page 401. Um, the lessons get, I'll tell you the lesson numbers, but I'm not as concerned that you write them down. Explanatory and response is lesson 41, part one. Scatter plots is lesson 41, part two. And describing scatter plots is the same lesson, but part three. Lesson 42, part one is R. Part two is properties of correlation. Lesson 43 was the regression line. Lesson 44 was residuals. Lesson 45 was residual plots. Lesson 46 is R squared and S. 47 was influential points. 48 was the least squares regression line. And then 49, we didn't get to its nonlinear relationships. So if you are wondering if you have all of this unit, you should have 423 pages. If you're missing any pages and you would like them, just come see me and we'll get them printed for you. Sampling distributions, inference was 51, lesson 51. Variability and bias was lesson 52. Sample proportions was lesson 53. Sample means is lesson 54. And this unit, unit five, had 513 pages.
So really 13 pages. Confidence intervals is unit six. What is a confidence interval is lesson 60. Lesson 61 is also headed confidence intervals. Lesson 62 is conditions for a proportion. Lesson 63 is the trouble with estimating a mean. Lesson 64 is needed sample size. I believe this is our last lesson. And the total number of pages for Unit 6 is 624. 624. Hypothesis testing is where I actually started numbering the lessons for you. And it goes up to page 735. So for Unit 7, you should have 735 pages or really just 35 pages. Sampling includes 25 pages. It goes up to 825. Experiments includes 920, goes up to 923, so it has 23 pages. So now we have done nine units. You should have numbers and lessons if you want them. The lessons are a lot less important, but you have page numbers for all of the units that we've done now.